Hello, Internet. Today we are going to be talking about how to use the Wolfram command line tools. So, uh, Wolfram language is, or formerly known as Mathematica, is a programming language based on some really interesting uh, ideas like rewrite uh, systems and and stuff like that. It's a, uh, it has a lot of interesting properties from a computer science standpoint. And uh, it's also a very, very uh, comprehensive library in the, or language in the sense that the language's standard <clears throat> library of functions contains the uh, lots of different tools to interface with lots of different domains so uh, to begin uh, with using Wolfram tools uh, for free optionally from the command line um, th we first have to download the Wolfram engine for Windows and you can see right now I'm inside of a virtual machine so this is just a clean installation so yeah mac os r mac os intel windows linux we want to get the windows one if you are on windows 10 and i might do a video in the future about how to do this on a mac okay so i'm going to open the file and we're just going to install in the default location and I will probably flash forward. It's about a gigabyte download, so it will take a while. And also while it's downloading, you can set up an account because this thing, it's free, but you have to register on the internet. So I'm just going to enter my account credentials and uh, So yeah, if you don't have an account, then you can just press create one and then you just enter this information and then it, it sets you up. But I do have an account, so I'm going to be installing it through that. Okay, and uh, yeah, so when you sign up and sign in, you should get to this page if you don't, and go back to the original page where you downloaded the engine and then try to get your license from that. Okay, so uh, you can use it to develop a product for yourself or your company, conduct a personal project or projects at home, school, and work or explore the Wolfram language for future production projects. So, uh, yeah, if, if you want to redistribute the Wolfram engine yourself, um, you have to make an agreement with them in the future. So you can't uh, just, like, release an application that uses this, but you can have other people download uh, the, the Wolfram engine themselves to run the code. And uh, also, they do uh, work out deals with, like, if you're an open source project, you can contact them and get a free license and stuff like that. So, for that project. But otherwise, yeah, they charge a licensing fee. Last time I checked, it was, like, somewhere between 10 and $200 per license uh, for commercial distribution. And also they change it based on like what it is. So I'm guessing if it's something really simple that barely uses it, they would be cool with a much lower price. Um, but yeah, now my license has been created. So to activate your license, you need to open or launch Wolfram script in your shell 
and uh, you only have to do this once on each computer. So yeah, uh, you just sign in with your account in the terminal. So when the download finishes, I will cover how to do that. Okay, one side note. If we already have Wolfram Desktop installed and you want to use the command line, you can just do... You can look for Wolfram script and if, it's, if you go to this page, wolfram.com slash wolfram script, uh, you'll be able to download Wolfram script. And this will be kind of the same thing uh, when you download it for your thing. As long as you have Wolfram Desktop installed, uh, you just install that, whatever. And then uh, when you type a Wolfram script in the command line for the first time. So if you do CMD and type in Wolfram script, then it will ask you to log in. So yeah, that's how to do that if you already have Wolfram desktop installed, which actually comes with a version of Wolfram engine. So yeah, that is it. Back to the main topic. Okay, so the download has finally finished, and I'm going to press launch. Yes, next. I'm going to use the default install location of Wolfram Research. Program files, Wolfram Research, Wolfram Engine 12.3. And that's going to take four gigs unpacked. So I'm going to install. And yeah, the reason this is four gigs while Python is like 20 megabytes is that this is actually installing a ton of examples and a ton of different functions that are part of their standard library. Like I said before, their standard library is quite comprehensive. It lets you do lots of different stuff from working with like audio files to video to uh, machine learning and natural language processing and all of that stuff and a lot of it is built in. Some of it is actually kind of like Python. You download it as you need it, but unlike Python, this will actually download it in the background uh, without you having to do anything, so that's kind of nice. So I'm going to let that install, and then we will continue after that. Okay, that is finished, so we will press finish and it will launch Wolfram Engine to activate it. And uh, this is where you uh, do your, your password and whatnot. Gosh, one second, I have to figure out, edit, paste, enter. Okay, and if you type in your stuff correctly, it will activate. Okay, and you can see now we're in this environment and I can do things like print hello world. and then it's basically any Wolfram function that you would normally use. f of any x is equal to x plus 1. And then I can do f of 7 or f of z. So as you can see, it's just a normal uh, environment. So just like, uh, this is basically uh, equivalent to if you just type Python, this is what you get. So uh, now I'm just going to exit this out and then we can do this from the command line. So start command line. So to uh, enter that environment again, you can type 
full from script. And then the path is already configured correctly on this computer. So, uh, percent, path percent. Um, as you can see, this uh, path contains C program files, both from research, both from script. And uh, as long as your path has this information, the C program files, both from research, both from script, you'll be able to do both from script from anywhere and then enter this REPL environment. Okay, so that's cool, but it's not exactly what we need. And you can do control Z to exit on Windows. So uh, I'm going to open Explorer and I'm going to make a new file. Uh, this is going to be uh, my script dot text. It's a text file for now. so but uh, we can change that in the future. So now I'm just going to show how to make like a simple command line program that you can run from the Wolfram script uh, tool. So Okay, and I'm just going to say so something like that. And then I notice if you do dir, it'll show you a list of all the files. So if you can see this file is called myscript.txt. And now if you do Wolfram script slash sorry slash f for file my script dot text, it will actually run this script. What is x? X is four. Oopsies. Okay, x plus one is five. So cool. If we do this again script what is x7 x plus 1 is 8 and then if we get again what is x and if I do like uh, h 1 plus h cool okay and you can basically do anything and anything in the Wolfram language uh, like you could you could take symbolic derivatives or export things in latex format or whatever you want so uh, as long as this is like a personal project or for your company or for yourself, then you can do whatever. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So yeah, this was how to install and use the Wolfram engine on Windows.